What up, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. And we're back with another episode of Designated Twitter. That's where we get all your fire takes and the fire takes from the staff here at Dodgers Nation on the hottest topics in Dodger land. We got a big show for you guys today because we're talking Juan Soto. Juan Soto, should the Dodgers try and make a trade for Juan Soto? Also, which Dodgers pitcher do you trust the most right now? And then finally, what are some of the biggest could have been in in Dodgers history. Those are our three topics today, and I want you guys to answer those questions as well down below in the comments section. But first, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, for all this Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So the first topic we're going to dive into today is should the Dodgers try and make a trade for Juan Soto? I asked you guys over on Twitter, would you be okay with the Dodgers trading for Juan Soto, even if it meant giving up several of their top prospects. And 48.5% of you said yes, and 51.5% of you said no. And now it's with 3,915 votes. We still have eight hours left on the poll, so if you haven't yet, head over our Twitter and give that a vote and let us know what you think. In my opinion, when you talk about a player of Juan Soto's caliber, we know how elite he is. He's a fantastic player, but we're talking two and a half years years of Juan Soto. Who is his agent? It's none other than super agent Scott Boris. And what does he like to do? He likes his players to enter free agency. So if you traded away the farm, we're talking big prospects. We're talking the Bobby Millers of the world, the Ryan Pepios. We're talking the Michael Bushes, and then possibly some big league talent. They might want Gavin Lux. They might want Tony Gonza. They might want Dustin May. It is going to be an unprecedented haul. When it comes to trades, for me, if you don't bet, you can't win, but if you lose all your chips, you can't bet. And I think for the Dodgers to lose all their trade chips for two and a half years of Juan Soto, it's a move that I wouldn't do, but on the flip side, it would be kind of nice to see all the MLB fans out there crying big time, because you know they're going to cry hard if the Dodgers are able to put together an even bigger super team by adding Soto. But to me, I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's very unlikely. And if you ask me if the Dodgers are going to trade for Juan Soto, I'd say it's one and a billion. But I asked the staff here about the Dodgers trading for Juan Soto and if the Dodgers should do it. And here's what they had to say. I would love if the Dodgers traded for Juan Soto. I'd love if the Lakers traded for Steph Curry. None of those things are going to happen, at least probably during my lifetime. They're mostly pitching prospects, and I feel like the Dodgers need pitching help more over the next couple of years. You can go out and you can get outfielders. Juan Soto's eventually going to be a free agent. You could pay him all the money in the world then. I'd love to have Juan Soto. Let's wait. We got an outfield right now. We got some dudes. I, I, let me see what Andy Paez can do down at Double A or wherever he's at right now. Let's see what he can do before we go and spend the bag in prospects to bring in Juan Soto. Love the guy. Not yet. So that were some of their takes on if the Dodgers should try to make a trade for Juan Soto. And like I said, you don't trade away the farm. You don't gut your farm system for one player. Look, what if he gets injured? What if he has a down year? What if it's so, so Soto in the time he's in Los Angeles? Yes, that's unlikely, but you don't want to mortgage your future for one player, especially when you consider that you can make a run at him in free agency. But I asked you guys over on Twitter, and here were some of your takes on Juan Soto. At Coach Blair Red tweeted, it's not a slam dunk, but in the end, it's Juan freaking Soto. At worst, he's the third best player in Major League Baseball right now. I'd pull the trigger. And then at fire underscore monkey 23 tweet out, even though I like Soto to be on the Dodgers, I just don't want to be like the Lakers situation where we gave up most of our assets for trades or using them to call them into the league. Don't get me wrong. I like Soto, but we need to keep our top prospects. And then Walker tweet out, just wait until he hits free agency, to be honest. We got to focus on the now and re-signing Trey Turner. Our lineup is solid as it gets, especially with the addition of Freddie alone. Dodgers need pitching, if anything. So those are some of your takes on Juan Soto. Like I said, I think it's highly unlikely. It is fun to talk about. He is one of the best hitters in the game already. He probably is the best hitter in the game, but I just don't see it happening. Now, the next question we asked you guys was, which Dodgers starting pitcher do you trust the most right now? And I asked the staff here at Dodgers Nation that question, and here were some of their takes. Right now, I'm going to be a prisoner of the moment. It's Tony Smokes, Tony Gonsolin, my favorite Dodgers pitcher not named Clayton Kershaw. But season on the line, 
game to save my life and putting Walker Bueller on the mound. But right now, it's Tony Gaunt's one. <laughs> this is uh, this is for all all the haters out there. They've been giving my boy crap for years. You can't not trust Tony Gonson right now. Catman is getting it done. He's 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 perfect. It's terrible. I hate myself for doing it. He's been great in this rotation. One of the best starting pitchers in baseball right now. We talked about it this week on Blue Heaven. That's that's where you that's where you put the the graphic. We talked about it this week on Blue Heaven, and yeah, you can't be mad at Tony Gonson. I trust that kid with everything. So those were some of the takes from the staff here at Dodgers Nation. But let's get into some of your takes. Dogu tweeted, Gonsolin, honestly, Walkers and Julio starts have been kind of rough lately. Tyler Anderson's not bad, though, either. And then Cesar, he tweeted, my ace right now is Gonsolin. One Gonsolin, two Anderson, three Bueller, four Urias, and five Triple A pitcher. And then Gil, he tweeted, I really like what Gonsolin is doing. He's improved so much, and he's so reliable. I am very impressed by Tony. Tony Gonsolin. So a lot of love for Tony Gonsolin. You know I love me the great cats, and I do think he is for real. He leads the Dodgers with a 1-6-2 ERA. But what about Walker Buehler? Yes, he's spoiled Dodger fans with how great he's been early on in his career. And if you look at his ERA this year, a 2-8-9 ERA, a 3-1-7 FIB. Yes, the velocity is down. Yes, the spin rate is down. Yes, he's changing the way he attacks hitters. You're seeing more cutter. You're seeing him rely more on on his secondary pitches as he tries to really regain the dominance of that fastball. But I'm telling you, this is a guy that has a 2.94 ERA in 79 and two-thirds innings pitch. He has been that man for the Dodgers in the postseason. No, you still got to trust Bueller on the big stage because he wants it. He's got the competitiveness. He's got the fire. And I just want to see him go back to the old Bueller. I want to see him go out there and continue to attack hitters. I saw him going with the baggy pants instead of the tight pants. No, go back to the tie pants. Bueller, I don't care if it looks like they painted your legs on with white paint or anything like that, or you could tell if you had a dime in your back pocket, you could tell if it was heads or tails. Yeah. Yes, go back to those tie pants. Be tighter than Frank McCourt after he went bankrupt, okay? Be the Bueller that you know you are, and I want to see him regain that dominance. So for me, I'd still Walker Bueller because he has the experience on the big stage in the big game, and yes, Gonsolin has been impressive, so has Tyler Anderson. Anderson, but to me, it's still Walker Beeler. But the last question we asked you guys over on Twitter is, what is your biggest Dodgers could have been in Dodgers history? We're talking about players they may have traded. We're talking about the Astros cheating. We're talking about things that change the course of Dodger history. I asked the staff here that question, and here's what they had to say. I'm going to hit the low-hanging fruit here. It's Pedro Martinez, uh, arguably the greatest pitcher of his generation. Had some incredible seasons. Uh, during his time in baseball and the Dodgers had him and let him go. Runner up is trading Jordan Alvarez for Josh Fields, which was just an absolutely brutal trade as well. Oh, uh, could have been. I had for a long time. The team wasn't quite ready yet, but you wonder what could have been had the Dodgers not traded away Paul LaDuca in 2004. He was the heart and soul of that team. That was a good team, not a great team, but they had some characters and they needed to keep a character like Paulie around. You wonder what would have happened. They went out and get he stopped Choi. He did nothing for the team. They go out and get Brad Penny in the deal. He ends up getting hurt and barely pitching for the team. And, of course, they win only a game. They get bounced in the NLDS. So you wonder what would have happened. You keep Guillermo Mota around. You keep Paula Duca around. But that's what I got. So that's what our staff had to say. And here were some of your takes over on Twitter. Rick tweeted out, we kept the wrong Martinez. We should have kept Pedro. Amen to that one. And then Glenn, he tweeted out, Ralph Branca striking out Bobby Thompson. I like that one. For my Dodgers history buffs, that one's going to hit. And then Alex, he tweeted out, Game 7 of the 2017 World Series, going with Clayton Kershaw over you, Darvish, what would the outcome have been? I really like that one, Alex, because we know Kershaw comes in and that game he pitches four scoreless innings you Darvish he was tipping off some pitches and he didn't pitch very well in that series that's a big one also I'll add what if the Dodgers were able to make the trade for Verlander instead of you Darvish so that's another one as well and then finally Jeremy tweeted Pedro Martinez and Adrian Beltre so there's a lot of what ifs I mean you got the Pedro Martinez's the Adrian Beltre's me it's still game five of the 2017 World Series if the Astros don't cheat if the Trastros don't 
bang trash cans and steal signs in that series, then that changes the course of history forever. Because one, Clayton Kershaw, in my opinion, he wins the World Series MVP that season. That changes his legacy completely, and he wouldn't have to live with what happened in 2018 when he wasn't able to come through in the postseason. He wouldn't have to live through what happened in 2019 when he didn't come through in the postseason. When people out there were calling him a choke artist in the postseason, his legacy would totally be intact. It would totally be cemented as not just the greatest Dodgers pitchers of all time, but one of the greatest pitchers of all time. And to me, he's in that conversation, but he wins that elusive World Series MVP, and then they win in 2020. You're talking about a pitcher with a World Series MVP and two World Championships, and really, he rides off into the sunset with nothing else to prove. To me, at that point, it's like you're playing a video game, and you've already beaten story mode on 100%, and you're just exploring the map at that point for fun. That's what it would have been like for Clayton Kershaw. But to me, I think that was a big travesty. That is the biggest what if in Dodgers history, in my opinion. But let me know down below in the comments section, do you think the Dodgers should pursue a trade for Juan Soto, even if it means parting way with some of their top prospects, an unprecedented haul for Juan Soto, and then also, which Dodgers starting pitcher do you trust most right now? And then finally, what do you think is the biggest Dodgers what could have been in franchise history? Let me know down below in the comments section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For our latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, breakdowns, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.